Joe Karioki, the man allegedly behind the fake fertilizer scandal, the director of SBL Innovative Company as well as 51 Capital, was released two days ago on bail. He denied all fraud charges and his case is set to be mentioned in court on the 28th of this month. This man was also exposed by Africa Uncensored of being among the people involved in the fake fertilizer scandal. Now, if all these allegations and accusations are true then could it be that joe karaoke came up with this fake fertilizer scheme idea in order to save himself from the deep financial struggle that he was facing back in 2021 in 2021 he lost about 300 million shillings in undisclosed circumstances he also got into huge debts and his properties his ranches and his farms were being eyed by the auctioneers so he was on the verge of losing everything however in january 2022 he rises back he is making money after venturing into the agri business and he is able to settle all his debts and even get his business empire running the intriguing bit about this is how he was able to do all this in such a short time a journalist who is currently writing for people daily and k24 or he, he might have been writing for k24 some time back made certain tweets on x back in 2022 about joe karaoke and he spoke about joe karaoke his life he spoke about how joe karaoke is a huge businessman in kenya he spoke about some of the companies that joe karaoke ran how he got in debt and had this financial crisis in 2021 june and then got into agribusiness in december 2021 and by the third week of january 2022 he had already started making profits and this business was doing so well and there is also an article by nairobi wire where joe karaoke himself talks about this agribusiness or this agribusiness that he has ventured into this article is dating back to 2022 and joe karaoke is talking about how th his business is booming in just three weeks the business is booming and so i want us to look at the receipts and my question still remains could it be that he came up with this scheme to set himself afloat and to save himself from this financial fall that he was facing. Francis Muli talks about how after Joe Karaoke left Tanzania after being arrested he was arrested in 2017 for allegedly defrauding a man going by the name Yusuf Mohammed, Tanzanian shillings 300 million. He was then arrested but then released at around 2019. After being released, he came back to Kenya and set up a company going by the name 51 Capital. And it was under 51 Capital that he launched a Kenyan crypto going by the name PesaCoin. PesaCoin did really well. He was able to make a lot of money and in just two months, he had gotten himself a car worth 50 million shillings and a new apartments in Riverside. The business continued to flourish as his as he got new clients and he was even able to get himself new offices and everything was doing well until june 2021 when his business empire sta started tumbling down. Father divulges that in the next six months of 2021, Joe Karaoke witnessed his fall. He witnessed employees, friends leaving him. He witnessed people stopped. He witnessed people stopping working for him, and in that time, he almost lost everything. This is the same thing that Joe Karaoke talks about in the article that I was telling you about, Nairobi Wire. And he talks about how he had lost 300 million shillings and that it was a devastating time because everybody turned his back on him. But then as the year ends, things take a different turn and Francis Muli definitely tells us more about this. He goes on to say how Joe Karaoke was able to rise like a phoenix after venturing into the agri business. Now, Joe Karaoke has combed Kinangop, Kiambu, Meru, and Embu as he sells his private GPC fertilizers, pesticides, and earth powders, training farmers, supply supplying products and opening over 300 shops already and doing it all like nothing ever happened all in a span of three weeks he wrote 
He says that all the losses his investors made in Pesacoin shall be remitted, blaming it all in his 2021 financial upheavals. He's moved from forex trading to cryptocurrency to music management to farming in less than a year. Just who this man is still remains a mystery. In the article by Nairobi Wire, Joe Karyuki also says something similar. My tribulations got me thinking of venturing in a business that few have ventured into. And that's when I launched my GPC farm products that include fertilizers, pesticides, insecticides, earth powder, and more. The business is only three weeks old and I cannot even believe the massive success it has caught fire. He then goes on to talk about his production plant in Nakuru and in Africa Uncensored, it was exposed that the fake fertilizer was being obtained from Kariandusi factory in Nakuru. So is all this just a coincidence? Is it a coincidence that what Francis Muli was talking about goes hand in hand with what this article or what Joe Karyuki is talking about in this article by Nairobi Wire? And is it a coincidence that two years later, this whole fertilizer business directed and run by Joe Karyuki himself becomes a huge fertilizer scandal in this country? 